So first thing you want to go down to my description and click the link to black hole. This is what's going to allow you to record your internal audio. So to download it, you got to put your email address and then type in any first and last name. It doesn't really matter. Then click the subscribe button. I normally put in a spam email, but in my experience, they haven't sent me anything. And if they do, it's just updates regarding the software, which is kind of important to know if they do update it. But aside from that, you should get the download link in your email. If not, check your spam or junk. Go ahead and just click the download link and it'll take you to this page. You can download a 2, 16, or 64 channel. I just go with the 2. Click that and it should start downloading. Go to wherever it downloaded to and you can install it using this. You just gotta go through the steps, continue, continue, agree, and then just install it. But I already have it. Once it's installed, you wanna go over to audio MIDI MIDI setup and you should see black hole two channel. If you have the 16 channel or the 64 channel, it should say it there. And that's good because then we're gonna go down to this plus sign and click create multi output device. It auto checked the black hole channel for me, but if it didn't do that for you, go ahead and just click black hole two channel. It's a little check mark box. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect my headphones and you're gonna wanna do the same. So for this next step, you wanna click whatever device you use to listen to your audio while recording. So when I record, I'm listening to it through these headphones. So I'm gonna click Ben's AirPod Maxes. But if you listen to your audio while recording through your MacBook speakers, go ahead and click your MacBook speakers. Or if you use headphones that you plug in, just go ahead and plug those in and it should pop up external headphones and then you can just check that. One thing you gotta make sure is that the black hole, whichever one you have, is above, it's at the top spot, always. If your headphones are actually above it, then just unclick your headphones and then click it again and it should put it under. And then make sure your master device is black hole two channel. And don't worry about the sample rate unless you're having issues with audio drifting, but I usually keep it at 48. And then the very last step is just naming it. So just double click the title and you can call it uh, OBS audio or internal audio. And then you're good. Just close out of that and open up OBS. So I'm gonna start from scratch for you. I'm gonna create a new scene. I'll call it just tutorial. And then within that scene, we're gonna go and click a source. So I'm recording my screen. So I hit display capture and then I'll call it desktop. Okay. And then I'll pop up this menu. You choose your display, whether you're recording your actual MacBook screen, but I have a monitor hooked up. So I'm gonna click that and I'll show my cursor with no crop. Okay. And then with your desktop set up for screen recording, all you have to do is go to settings, click audio, and then go to desktop audio and click black hole channel two or channel 16 or 64, whichever one you have. I use a separate app to record my audio so I can adjust it separately. So I don't actually use my mic within OBS, but if you wanna record them at the same time, your mic and internal audio, just go down to mic and then you can click your mic. But if you're just trying to record your internal audio of the Mac, no microphones, just leave that at disabled. Now the most important step of all, remember that multi-aggregate device that we created? We wanna make sure that every time before we record, you go over to system preferences, go to sound, and you wanna click that aggregate device you made under output. So I named it OBS Audio. You wanna click whichever one you named it. Click that every time before you record. Every time. Make sure that's clicked because if not, if it's not clicked and I go and play something, I'm gonna play some Bob Marley, I click play, nothing happens. But if I click OBS audio under system preferences and go back to OBS, play the song, there you go. Now it's recording. It's coming through my headphones and it's recording. And there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer them or make another video to help clarify. But other than that, Get on, just go on and start recording. Drop a like if this helped.